Hello everyone and welcome back to another OMC2 video. I'm very happy to be showcasing you a new Brighton and Hove livery, this being a new coaster livery, uh, which actually only very recently got applied, I think less than a week ago got applied to the real buses, uh, the new Envaro 400 MMCs, which uh, Brighton and Hove are receiving to, I suppose, replace the street decks. Um, do, I do like the street decks, though, on the coaster. But yeah, they're going to be replacing them uh, Yeah, with, well, with these buses uh, in a pretty splendid livery. I, I know it's a new Brighton and Hove rebrand, which I, I still don't... I still prefer the old. The uh, old cream red and the old logo. But this livery actually looks pretty decent. It's nice. Um, I mean, just look at it. Just the way... Right, let's just... Before, let's let's get... The, we, are, we are on a schedule, so let's just get it set up. Oh, I didn't realise you had mirrors in here. Wow, okay. I don't think I've ever driven this before. And this is his part of it as well. Uh, right. Audio working. September 15th, 2019. Okay. Bus. Is it going to turn on? There we are. Hopefully the audio levels are all good. I mean, they, they should be. Uh, we're on the number 12, uh, so we shall get that set up. Uh, number 12, and then yeah, we'll have a look at the livery again. Uh, one, there you go, Paynton Royal Hospital, get signed in. Uh, there we go, uh, 9810. Uh, yeah, big thanks to that one dude. Uh, I think Stagecoach Enthusiasts, who have both worked on this um, livery. Uh, they've actually provided the server, the Discord server, with sort of early access to the um, DLC. So if anyone wants to, you know, give the livery a go, do so. Uh, it's in the this Discord, and it, and the interior as well is is all different. So yeah, you've got the. Um, I'd imagine yeah, it still is a bit of a work in progress, um, as I can't see sort of the bits along here. But yeah, this is the interior. Got, yeah, look at this here. They really have done a good job, especially as there's, there's not many photos of the inside. Um, so to actually be able to get all of this um, in it is pretty nice. I mean, it's not even in public service yet. I don't know when they are actually sort of scheduled to go into public use, but um, it's good. It is good. And I'm sure, yeah, I, I think it is a work in progress still, so I'm sure we might see the, the sort of the. What do you, what do you call them? The sort of posters on sort of the top bit here um, added in, which I think there is. Um, but yeah, this is cool. About upstairs, if we can go upstairs. Yeah, so it's the same sort of maquette. It's quite a nice maquette. It's um, it, it's nice. It is nice. Um, but let's get the bus doors open. Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard. Get the lights on as well. Uh, you want, what's that going to be, £2.10, £2.10, uh, adult single, what mate, there we are, <coughs> thank you, uh, adult Devon Day, that was a lot of coins, uh, adult day, there we are, and it's 15 past, but yeah it's really, the, the livery just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's nice, um, I mean, just look at just look, look at the way it all sort of goes into it. Just everything complements each other. <coughs> you've got the blue here, um, as well as the sky, and you've got the green sort of down here. But then that sort of then goes into there, which then forms the white cliffs, which are you know sort of one of the iconic things about the coast of the route. It's the white cliffs that sort of goes along. It just I suppose I don't know if this is meant to be like the road coming down here, or maybe that. I mean, that complements the white cliffs there. You've got the reflection now in the water of the cliff. It just is a really nice, well-designed livery. So whoever designed this livery in real life, you are fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice livery. Right, let's get in. Um, and when these do go into service, hopefully I can get down to Brighton and um, uh, get in them. Yeah, so it's well done to. Oh, I feel so weird having the digital mirrors. Well done to um, 
<coughs> that one dude and um, stagecoach enthusiasts for uh, putting together the livery with little reference, at least of the inside. Oh, that feels really weird having uh, digital mirrors. Mm, almost, almost. Next stop, Water Lane. Water Lane. I don't think I've ever driven a bus on this game with digital mirrors. So it takes a little bit of time getting used to. As if you're a bus driver in real life, what do you prefer? Normal mirrors or digital mirrors? Uh, head out single. Uh, 710. This video should be going out, well, basically the day after it came out on the Discord, so. Uh, if anybody, oh no, you're not going to stop, are you? Stop, stop there, stop there, let me let me come out. And we can still clear that. This is going to be a bit close. Uh, literally just. Don't wanna get, I don't want to get a scratch on this livery already. Ah, taxi, Next don't hit us. Stop. Get a bit of external. I mean, it is about the livery, so. I do like Brighton and Hove. <clears throat> I mean, as I've said quite a few times, I do prefer the cream and red to the new sort of turquoise blue rebrand. <coughs> but I suppose that's probably because I grew up with the um, the old one, so I'm sort of just yeah, uh, I grew up with it. And no one really likes change. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Right, right. We'll, we'll get a few more external shots, try and get some nice pictures as Next well. Stop. And I thought this would sort of be the perfect map to do it on. I was considering doing it on Lincolnshire, but I thought a coaster bus in Lincolnshire is going to look a bit peculiar so we're doing it on, on West Country. That is, uh... Although there is one coast delivery which to me it's not actually really much of a coast delivery <coughs> um, on the Scania Omnideckers <coughs> that sort of uh, original coast delivery they had when they first went onto the route. Sort of, yeah, it was, but to be honest, it wasn't really much of a, a full on bus livery. It was sort of, there was like circles on it, and it had like the white cliffs, and it was like coaster. I don't know, if, if, you, if you've lived in Brighton for a few, many years, uh, you'll know what I'm on about. The Scania Omnideckers, when they first came into service, sort of 20, basically 2005, 2010 ish, of that coaster livery. And you have the Green Regency livery as well. I'll try and get a few external shots on here, even if hard driving gets a bit wobbly. Uh, as I said, it is sort of about, it, you know, it's a livery showcase. So let's do it justice. But yeah, we're on West Country again, which we haven't done for a little while. Um, and thing to note about this map, we've got West Country 4 in the works uh, already. Uh, which I think is going to add in the Cottrell map, sort of combine that with this uh, and also add a few more bits and bobs in. 
which IOMX is working on. Omsi at the moment is quite exciting. Like what we've got in the works. I know I mention it every single time. Uh, basically since last year. But yeah, it, it's fairly exciting because hopefully this year we'll get the Gemini, the Avoras, the Omni Decker, um, and is it what's is it the Eclipse One? I can't remember the other one. But yeah, hopefully it'll be a good year for Omsi. Maybe V3D will release something as well. They've sort of been a bit radio silence. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good year for Omsi. Because last year was a bit sort of. Next stop, Sydney Close. There wasn't really much out for Romsey UK wise. Oh, we had the Optair solo back in January, so that was over a year ago. Um, we had well, West Country 3.3, which we're playing on now. Uh, we had the Lincolnshire, the 107, but sort of bus wise, we had the Optair solo. Right, let's pause the game. I don't usually have tears in it to pause it. Oh, okay, it works. Right, how do we. I want to get a nice shot on the outside. Which is a good uh, camera view. Uh, one of these. Yeah, like these types of ones. Try and get another one from the other side. A bit trickier on that side. Oh, there we go. I don't know how you move. I wish you could move the camera. Maybe you can move the camera up. Maybe I just haven't figured it out yet. Right, let's get back into the front and press P again. There we go. Quite a few people sort of getting on, off and on here. What's that music I can hear? I feel like loud music coming out from my car. Um, ten pence, adult single, livery showcase. There it is. Um, that looks quite good actually, like that. There you go. Nice photo. Right, let's go. I think we're still running on time. I mean, it hasn't gone changed colour yet, so it should be. Two minutes late. Brilliant. That's about right then. Right, so we're the number 12, so we don't go down to Fernkham Sands, we go up, basically we skip it. And then go into the town centre. See, what other sort of coastal maps do we have on Omsi? I think we've got Scarborough, is it Scarborough Seafront? Um, never played that. Um, Yorkshire Counties, sort of coastal. Uh, and I think also is it Adstow Project? That's basically. I think that's actually based in Devon. That's another cool one. Thank you. Have a Welcome aboard. Thank you. Oh, uh, it's going to be three fifty. And it's going to be an adult Devon day. Where's he going? There we go, cool. Yes, yeah, so we get a bit of sort of a fast bit here. As if we don't have to go into Fernkham Sounds, which is off to the right. Which is sort of the summer bus. Which goes off that. Is it the 122 which goes Next off there? South Beach. South Beach.
Yeah, another Brighton and Hove livery in the game. Fantastic. There's the, there we go, we are truly coast the coaster now. Bye bye shot. Right, South Beach is up next, there's the one two two there. Sort of open top. Yeah, we'll have another sort of close look at the livery. I think we've got to admire it. Um, once we get to a stop where it's safe to do so. Admire the view. to be back on this map or at least on this route most of the time we do the um, top net circular get a few little screenshots there you go there uh, why oh, I taxi but you can see all the places it serves which is part of go ahead uh, which yeah well I've got a lot of the south coast um, Brighton, Peacehaven, New Haven, Seaford, Seven Sisters, Eastbourne uh, so basically, they're all quite. Seven Sisters is um, well, that. Basically. Well, Seven Sisters is um, the very the Cookmere Haven. Uh, yeah, Cookmere Haven. Um, it's um, well, yeah, we're already up. It's more of sort of a uh, what's that, what? What is it? Tourist? Not really a tourist attraction, but just a po really popular walking spot and sort of nature spot, I suppose. Or the River Cuckmere. Next stop, Guest House Perry Road. Uh, guest House what? Walking in the road, unbelievable. Dangerous. What? Right there. <coughs> Thank you. Straight on. Next stop, Princess Theatre. Princess Theatre. But yeah, uh, go ahead. Have been well. They they've been gobbling up um, stuff on the south coast. So let's go ahead. Are doing quite well, especially Brighton and Hope. Um, they've just. Um, yeah, they just uh, acquired Eastbourne Sightseeing. Not that that's like a, a huge thing, but yeah, an another sort of company under their belt. Um, yeah, Eastbourne Sightseeing is now um, go ahead controlled or go ahead owned. No idea what it was before. For now, I think it was an independent company before, so it's been covered up by um, go ahead. Eastbourne is the most interesting of places to sightsee around, but I suppose in summer it's probably quite popular. Cool. So we're coming into uh, Top Net, no, Painton. <coughs> She's uh, coming up. Actually, no, yeah. Uh, go ahead have been really busy um, in the south because Metro Bus, which is Go Ahead Home, I mean, Metro Bus is basically Brighton and Hove. Um, they're just a trading name, Metro Bus. They've just got south down, which has added a massive whole new area. So they're really, you know, adding stuff. The Regency routes, they've just been expanded.
Right, uh, where do we go? Let's go down here, don't we? Next stop, Disney Street. Disney Street. Yeah, we're heading up to the to the hospital. Everybody. Where's she going? Did she go up the stairs? Oh no, she thinks she sat behind the stairs. And we're off. Still a minute late. Could be worse. Could be ten Next minutes stop. late. Road. As we were on uh, Lincolnshire the other day. Buzz to get off and nobody's getting on. I'll go right through that. Oh, this is all different now, isn't it, through here? Next it's quite cool stop. actually. Road. It's all under you know roadworks and stuff. No idea what stand we come into at this one. I don't think the Rio is, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Oh, let's go up to this M1. Yeah, top left road. That's the terminating point there over there for the uh, 35. Seems nobody's going up to the hospital. Cool. Yeah, well, well, we seem to be near enough on time now, which is good. Next stop, St. Mary driving. Now you're going to go really. Oh, there we go. C come on. Oi. What are you doing? Brake check. I see taxis are always to blame. Just, what are you doing? First they brake check us, and now they're just sitting there. Definitely did that on purpose. <coughs> They probably saw that we were like, on time, and they were like, "Oh, we can't be having that. We want to nick your passengers. Make them make them annoyed that we're uh, yeah running late or something, and they're getting the taxi. Getting taxis. We're sort of going, well, not all the way around here, but we're going this lane. Getting on to go one stop. Put that down, and there we are. Right, everybody, welcome aboard. Thank you. And thank you. Right, next up is the hospital. Next 
Next further hospital? Stop. What side Eight do we go? Hospital. No, yeah, we go round, don't we, then stop. Or do we? It's been, been a little while. This one terminates, which I think it terminates on the right side, and then you then drive it round and then start it on the other side. There's like a little turnaround bit here, but I could be wrong. is Paynton Royal Hospital. There we go everybody, okay, good. Well, uh, that is going to be it everybody. That was uh, the coast delivery, obviously being the highlight there of the show. Uh, which yet is available in our Discord server at the moment, uh, in the Brighton 25 uh, chat. Uh, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it, I certainly have. It's another Brighton and Hope we're in the game, so awesome. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming in. Links can be found in the usual places to the Discord, PayPal, merch store. <coughs> Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.